Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video here, we are going to learn how to automate Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So as you know, Google Sheets is a very popular cloud-based spreadsheet application provided by Google. It allows users to create, edit and collaborate on spreadsheets online. It is a part of Google Workspace and it gets integrates with other applications very easily such as Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Forms, etc. that are part of Google. So if you are using Google Sheets for your business, I am going to show you that how you can automate the entire repetitive task in managing your spreadsheet, managing your data, data synchronization, etc. by using Pabli Connect. For this, you just have to set up a connection between your Google Sheets and Pabli Connect and your work is done. Now, as you know, Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all of our repetitive tasks without any coding and programming skills simply by setting up connections between our work applications. So here, by setting up a simple connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, you can automate your data entry process. You can automatically add or update data in your Google Sheets from other applications. You can keep data in Google Sheets up to date in real time across multiple tools you can create centralized dashboard by pulling data from various sources automatically you can reduce human errors by automating the data transfer in your spreadsheets and also you can set up notifications for each entry in google sheets to other applications and all these process can be done with the help of fably connect because it is going to enable you to connect your google sheets with multiple applications automatically now Let's get started quickly to learn this automation. Over here, we are currently on the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect. Once after, after coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. It is going to create a free new account for you. And also when you will do that, you will be receiving 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And now it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And also we can create different folders on the same dashboard to save these workflows separately and accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And a dialog box is appeared in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Automate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. After giving this name here, I'm going to select the folder in which you want to save this workflow. So you can see we have list of folders over here. Among these folders, I'm going to select this spreadsheet automations as my folder. And now I'm going to click on create. So automatically my workflow, which I'm going to create will be saved in the folder, which I have selected. Now, as we have done that, a new screen is open in front of us, which contains two extremely important windows. First is the trigger and the other is action. So when we create an automation, entire automation works upon these two principles. We can say these are the building blocks. So here the trigger says when this happens and the action says to this, that means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, which is the commander, and but we can have multiple actions because they are the followers. Let's say I run a real estate agency for which I am managing a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, okay? So I want that whenever I'm going to enter a new row in this particular spreadsheet, along with the details of a new lead, such as the name, email, phone number, and the, and the type of property in which the lead is interested, then automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that same lead, informing them about our services, about our properties, what kind of properties we, pro we provide, different kind of locations in which we have the properties and the recent offers. Okay. Related to these information, I want to send a message to these leads. Okay. So for that, I will have to set up the connection between my Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So over here, let's suppose I'm going to take Google Sheets and trigger and WhatsApp cloud API through which I want to send WhatsApp message to all the leads in my action step. When we are going to set up a connection between these applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the new row is added in my spreadsheet, then only WhatsApp message will be sent to that lead, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us quickly start connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. One more thing I have to tell you that you can use Google Sheets in either ways. If you want that on the happening of a specific event inside your Google Sheets, Let's suppose if you want that whenever a new row will be added in your Google Sheets, you want to capture the response inside Pabli Connect and then you want to automatically transfer that same response to other applications, then you can go for adding your Google Sheets and trigger. But in case 
let's suppose you want that on the happening of a specific event in any of the work application which you are using let's suppose facebook lead ads you want to transfer the response in google sheets to create a record then you can go for adding google sheets in your action step okay so i am going to show you both the methods in this video step by step that how you can fully automate the entire process by adding your google sheets with fably connect and here i will show you that how you can add google sheets in trigger as well as an action as well let's get started first of all let's learn how to use google sheets in trigger for that we have to go towards our trigger step and we have to select our trigger application as google sheets so we'll quickly select that now after selecting the application the next we have to select is the trigger event now what is trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start we have an option only over here new or updated spreadsheet row that means whenever a new row will be added in our spreadsheet then the response will be captured so we'll simply select new or updated spreadsheet row over here now we have to set up the connection between our google sheets and public connect so this is my spreadsheet which i want to connect so what we have to do we have to copy this webhook url which we have received and also you can see we have received some instructions over over here which we have to follow step by step carefully to set up this connection and with this we are going to insert this webhook url inside of our google sheets which we want to connect because this url is going to act as a bridge and it is going to transfer the data from google sheets whenever a new row will be added over there inside public connect and that too instantly we have copied the webhook url in the, and then i'm going to take you towards my google sheets which i want to connect first of all i'm going to enter the details over here let's suppose the name of the lead is smart lead let's say the email of this lead is smartly at the rate paplitudes dot com. I'm going to enter a random phone number as well. Then let's say the type of property in which this lead is interested is. So I've entered a test details over here of a lead. Okay. Now we are going to send this response of this lead the entire road towards Fably Connect by setting up a connection over here. So we so to build this connection we have to go towards extension option from the top, and over here we have the option of add on. So we have to go towards get add ons. And then what we have to do? It is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. We have we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. So basically, Pabli Connect Webhook is the extension. It is the add-on which which we need to install in Google Sheets to set up this connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. You can see I've already installed this add-on, so I'm going to cross this. And once you will install the add-on for the very first time, you also have to refresh your spreadsheet once so that you will be able to find the option of Pabli Connect Webhooks under Extensions. As we can see the option, let's go towards Initial Setup first of all. Basically, we have to perform an initial set. up in which we have to enter some details to build this connection what kind of details a webhook url and the trigger column so let's get started now in the field of webhook url we have to paste a url which we have copied from pabli connect then we'll move forward towards the trigger column field now what is trigger column trigger column is actually the column in which if the data will be added the entire row will be automatically sent towards pabli connect so it is given in the instructions as well the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook url in my case you can see i have columns in my spreadsheet up till d that means i have four columns so my objective is that whenever i'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet along with the details of a new lead then when i will enter the data in that new row up till the d column that means up till the last column then only the response should be sent towards fably connect otherwise not so over here d will be my trigger column okay according to this you have to select your trigger column then we will click on send test to send this test response which we have added in our spreadsheet towards google sheets okay as we have sent the test response now we will submit this initial setup and our configuration is successful so we will cross this and move back towards fably connect when we will come over here we will see that all the details are automatically captured So in this response, we can see that all the exact details are received, which we have in our spreadsheet. The type of property in which the lead is interested, which we have entered, is residential. Here we have received the trigger column, which we have entered, the name of the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet ID. Then we have received the sheet name, the sheet ID, the row index. That means the number of row in which the data is added. Then over here you can see we have received the phone number. Over here we have the name of the lead and the email address. This means that the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. Once we have set up this connection, now Our objective is that as soon as a new row will be added over here in the same spreadsheet, the response should be keep on sending. For that, we have to do one more action step. We have to go towards extensions once again, Pabli Connect Webhooks, and this time we have to click on the Send on Event button. Now, when we have done that, we have made sure that as soon as we are going to add a new row up till our trigger column in our spreadsheet, the data will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect. Okay, so our connection is successful. Then further, we can add our action steps over here by adding the action applications, and we can send this response which we have received to multiple applications. If we want to send the WhatsApp message to this lead, we can add WhatsApp Cloud API over here. If we want to transfer this response to our team members to our backend team, we. 
can send this response over Google Chat Space, Slack or Discord channel as well. And even if we want to add these leads in any of the CRM automatically, we can add our CRM application such as HubSpot or Zoho CRM. All right. So these are the steps which you have to follow in order to set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect as trigger. Now I'm going to take you forward towards learning how we have to set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect as action as well. Now in this scenario, let's suppose I own a real estate agency and to promote that I'm running an ad campaign on my Facebook page that I've created with the help of Facebook lead ads. So the name of my Facebook page is Prime Properties and I've also created a lead gen form to generate the leads for my real estate agency with the help of Facebook lead ads and my objective is to create a record of all the leads which are generated through Facebook lead ads in my Google Sheets. So this is the Google Sheet which I've prepared which contains following fields such as name, email address, phone number and the type of property in which the lead is interested. So the person who will be interested in buying or renting the properties which in which I'm dealing with, so they are going to submit the lead gen form by watching the ad campaign which I'm running on my Facebook page. And as soon as the lead will be generated by submitting that form, the details of that lead will be added in my Google Sheets. And in this way, I will be able to create a systematic record of all my leads to connect with them further. Okay, now for that, I will have to set up the connection between my Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets where I'm going to take Facebook lead ads and trigger and Google Sheets in action. So to automate this process, I have already captured the response from Facebook lead ads. In this response, I have received all the details of my lead. Here we have the type of property in which the lead is interested, the first name of the lead, the last name, the email address and the phone number. Now my objective is to create a record of the details of this lead in my Google Sheets. So we'll have to set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect as action. So this is the scenario which I'm using in order to show you how you have to use Google Sheets in action. So for that, I have already selected my Google Sheets as action application. Now I'm going to go towards action event and I'm going to select the action event as add new row. Apart from this action event, we have multiple other action events as well. Add multiple rows, append values, create a sheet, copy a spreadsheet, look up spreadsheet, get rows and all other details. So you can use any other event as well according to your choice. Okay, for example, if you have a huge data in your spreadsheet and you want to get all the details inside Pabli Connect, you can use get rows action event. Okay, for example, if you want to look for a specific value, Value, you want to look for a specific data in your Google Sheets and you want to capture the response only of that, then you can go for using lookup spreadsheet rows in your action event. Now currently because my objective is to add a new row in my spreadsheet related to the details of the Facebook lead, so I'm going to select add new row and now we have to set up the connection. So for setting up this connection, we have to go towards connect button and you have to keep in mind that you are already logged in to the spreadsheet which you want to connect. I have already done that. So now in order to build this connection, we have two options, add new connection or select existing connection. Now I'm going to go towards add new connection to build this new connection and we'll click on sign in with Google. Now we have to select the specific account which you want to use. After selecting the account over here, now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account. Our data is 100% safe with Pabli, so we can fearlessly click on allow. As we have done that, the authorization has become successful and the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. So we have to move forward towards entering the details over here. First of all, we have to select the spreadsheet name. The name of my spreadsheet is new leads. So what I will do, I will simply select from the drop down the same spreadsheet, new leads. After selecting the spreadsheet, the sheet name is also selected because I only have one sheet currently. But if you are using multiple sheets, you can select the specific one. Then here we have to enter the details in these fields, name, email, phone number, and the type of property in which the lead is interested. All these fields are the same, which we have as a column in our spreadsheet. So one by one, we will enter the data. And because we have to add our Facebook leads in Google Sheets as a record. So what we will do instead of entering the details manually, we will simply use the same data, which we have received in our previous response. That means from Facebook lead ads response. Okay. So we are simply going to map the data mapping is inserting data from previous step this is our previous step here are all the details first of all we have to enter the name so here we have the first name and last name separately what I will do, I will simply select the first name, I will use a space and then I will select the last name. In this way, when I've inserted the data from my previous response, I have mapped it. When we map our data, it becomes dynamic and with each and every new response, automatically it is going to replace now. All right, so when we have done that, let's move forward. Now we will simply map the email as well in the similar manner. Here we have the email. As we map this email, it is also going to replace automatically with each and every new response. That means now whenever a new lead will be received from Facebook lead ads, the details which we are going to map in these fields are going to replace with the new details of that new lead. And in this way, we are going to automate the entire process of creating record in Google Sheets for any of the, for any of the trigger event, okay? Now here we have the phone number, so we'll map that and at last the type of property in which the lead is interested. After entering all the details with the help of mapping, we will simply click on save and send test request button. 
then over here you can see we have received the response as we have received this response that means the data is added and over here we have the range in which the data is added so i'm going to take you towards google sheets to check whether the row is added successfully or not and yes you can see that the row is added over here here we have the name the email phone number and the type of property so we have exactly the same details which we have received from facebook lead ads this means that the connection is absolutely successful and now whenever a lead will be received the details of that lead will be added automatically in google sheets in this way you have to use google sheets in your action step okay so i hope the connection between google sheets and babli connect is clear to you in both the ways in trigger as well as in action so by setting up this connection you will be able to automate all your repetitive tasks and you will be able to manage and organize your data efficiently and effortlessly i hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabbly Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabbly dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabbly dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends, and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.